We're here in the new critical care tower at Surrey Memorial Hospital. State-of-the-art building design and medical technology brings our ability to provide patient care to a whole new level. I'm proud to showcase this world-class healthcare facility for you. Eight new floors with new technologies deepen our commitment to providing quality patient care. Floors seven and eight are specialty medical floors, nephrology and neurology, and the first purpose-built stroke unit in Fraser Health. Throughout the tower, the design of these units help us to improve quality, safety, and the efficiency of patient care. And we can improve the experience for patients and families during their hospital stay. One of the fundamental features that, and philosophies that we're, we're implementing here in our new unit is to really have families and friends as partners in patient care. Having loved ones at the bedside to be able to support that ongoing care is a really critical piece in people's rehabilitation. The rooms are actually divided into three zones. So we have a family zone, which has uh, furniture that will actually fold out to be a bed, so somebody could stay at the bedside 24-7 to provide that ongoing care. A large part of the care of our patients is the on-site therapy that we're able to provide. We have a large therapy space built into the unit. And for those patients who are unable to attend our therapy room, we can actually have our team come to the patient to start therapy right in the patient room. For this floor, the patient um, that we will be seeing are mainly our neurological patients and for us to have a space that is embedded in the unit so that patients don't have to travel far is really important for us. We have a lot of equipment that we have in place to really support um, the patient needs as well as the therapist needs. One thing that's really exciting is the Sable Arm treatment system. And what that is, it's a dynamic arm splint that allows for us to do early mobilization and early function of the arm to help with stroke patients. It's really about being able to support that patient and their family through the acute care stay and really to facilitate the rehabilitation and reintegration as soon as possible as a team. Medicine Nephrology is a 36-bed inpatient medical unit. It allows us to provide care for many more medicine patients and more specifically for those with chronic kidney disease. One of the coolest things is that we actually get to provide this hemodialysis treatment at the bedside for patients so they no longer have to go down to the outpatient centre to have the dialysis treatments. Uh, this means patients can stay on their unit for up to 18 hours a week longer than they normally would which gives them better access to clinicians, to physicians, to therapists, hopefully recover sooner, uh, get home sooner, which is where everybody wants to be. We really are bringing care to the patient instead of moving the patient around the system to find the care. Intensive care and high acuity units are where we take care of our most critically ill patients. It's also where the design of the units and life-saving equipment come together so our patients can be cared for safely and efficiently. For the new high acuity unit here in the critical care tower, we have our own floor and our own space. It was built so that our critical care level of patients could be looked after as they are in the intensive care unit if, if need arise. The aspects and design of this room was carefully thought out. Uh, we have an equipment boom here, which is a critical care equipment boom that provides all of the services needed. We have eight uh, suctions, for example. We have multiple data and, of course, oxygen and air. All of our beds on the intensive care and the high acuity floors have a uh, special mode that puts it into a full chair position and it lowers it down to the floor low enough as well so that with assist the patient can actually get out the end of the bed uh, sometimes with a walker and also with a physio or nurse standing uh, close by. The other great thing is that we have a ceiling lift and these ceiling lifts are actually in all of our patient rooms this particular ceiling lift has a design that the large uh, bar goes uh, right directly into the washroom so we can bring the patients into the washrooms no matter um, uh, what their weight. 
We now have the space, we have the equipment, uh, we have the ability to uh, provide this higher level of care in a place that really is appropriate for it. When it comes to caring for families with babies and children, the completion of the tower brings Surrey Memorial Hospital to a new level as a pediatric and neonatal center of excellence. Our expanded neonatal intensive care unit is double in capacity with 48 beds. The really exciting thing about the new space is that we have the ability for every baby to have their own room. The nice thing about the patient rooms is that they have a family zone so that the family can stay, they can rest. There's a pull-out bed so that they can stay overnight if they want to. We even have showers available so if they want to freshen up in the morning, they can also do that. We've designed our space for the baby's development. We have acoustic tiles that will help dampen the sound in the patient room. And we also have special lighting that cycles through a day-night pattern to help the babies get used to a more normal pattern when they go home. So the way the unit is set up, we actually have observation alcoves where the staff can sit and do their work outside the patient room and still get information and monitor several babies because the vital signs come from the patient room straight out to the monitor in the alcove. We're always looking out to give the best care we can to our babies and their families, and this new NICU is gonna give us a really great opportunity to do that. The Ronald McDonald Family Room is located right outside the NICU. Any family that has a child that's uh, being treated at uh, Surrey Memorial Hospital in the pediatric department can come in and use the family room. A Ronald McDonald Family Room is a, a house within a hospital where uh, families with a child that's being treated at hospital can uh, get out of the hospital environment and into a situation where they can make themselves a sandwich, uh, have the other siblings play, um, maybe take a break, do some laundry. And if they uh, need a place to stay for the night, there are four sleep rooms available so that they could stay near their child. In, in that incredible time of uh, stress when uh, a parent uh, has a sick child, uh, having the family close and keeping the family together really does help the child heal. A new neonatal and pediatric pharmacy is where medications will be prepared specifically for the tiniest of patients. We'll have about 11 pharmacists and 10 technicians that are specializing in caring for pediatric and neonatal patients. This pharmacy will provide medication that's ready to administer to the patient for every dose on a 24-hour basis. So we'll deliver medications to the patient's room every day in a format that the nurse can just administer directly. The nurse doesn't therefore have to mix the medication themselves. And so it increases patient safety in that they're pre being prepared in this sterile environment as well as they're being made individually for each patient. The new regional lab uses robotics and technology to improve diagnosis, analysis, and provides faster turnaround times for important patient tests. One of the goals when we were building our lab is to make sure we introduce technologies that will speed up our diagnosis and speed up the treatment for the patients by getting out the lab results as quickly and efficiently as possible. Our automated line for the chemistry department, it's going to what we call smooth out our turnaround times. Everybody is going to be 15 minutes to get into an analyzer. Every single specimen will take the same path, and then it's up to the analyzer, the speed of the analyzer, to give us the results back, depending on the test that's ordered. It will save time, but it'll also, it'll also decrease errors. Other features in our laboratory are in the microbiology department. We have new equipment called PCR. It takes a bacteria and identifies it by its DNA strand. So we can do that on specific bacteria, and we use that for our superbugs. So we identify them in hours, where in the past it used to take us two to three days. So that really turns around quicker for the infection control. It's increasing the results back to the wards, back to the nurses and doctors, better treatment of the patient, better diagnosis. Our patients are our samples, as silly as that sounds. We don't see the patients. The technologists in the lab, that specimen is our patient, and we take care of that patient as, as much as they do on the wards. The tower includes a UBC Faculty of Medicine with a new simulation lab, on-call rooms, clinical teaching rooms, a brand new library, and this 125-seat lecture theater, all to enhance student learning. 
our campus will be flooded with medical students and residents, which is a real honor for our local hospital. And all of these new floors join our pediatric emergency department and our emergency department, both of which opened late last year. We're proud of what this tower brings to the Fraser Health region, our hospital, and the Surrey community. We are especially pleased for patients and families. They have a place where they can heal with their families close at their side, access a spacious hospital, modern technologies, and an amazing healthcare team. For patients and families, the new critical care tower means better health and the best in healthcare. <laughs>